Welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. I am driving in Nebraska right now and I have over four hours of driving to do. And I'm heading to the Ainsworth, Nebraska area. And Kelly's already up there with the horses and dogs. What I'm going to is a summer camp. It's pretty much property owned by a bunch of ranchers that um, they give permission to certain people to run their dogs on and do some training out there to get ready for the upcoming fall season. The point is to uh, get them in shape and to uh, get them ready for field trials. If there's time, there's a bunch of ponds on the property and supposedly I will have permission to maybe fish one of those ponds. So maybe I will get a fishing video out of this too. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for some dog training and I will uh, see you guys here in a little bit. Hopefully I can. I finally made it here. I got lost for about two and a half hours in the middle of nowhere and on really bad roads with not a very good car. So that really sucked when I finally made it. It's like after 10 now. Um, I need to try to get to sleep and wake up early tomorrow. I've lived in Kansas my whole life and I don't think I've ever stayed the night in Nebraska. So this I think is the first night I'll ever stay in Nebraska. So, a little fun fact for you. But I will see you guys tomorrow. This is a clutch of young and, a, and an adult. Oh. Oh. This field sucks. <laughs> Pretty area, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yep. Okay, guys, we just finished up with the adults, and now we are running the young dogs trying to get them some experience and uh, we'll see if they can uh, find some birds 
So they had some uh, cactus in their feet. There's a lot of little cactus out here that they need to watch out for, so. Okay guys, made it back to camp. We got Grit, the adult. And then we got Reason, the adult. And she found a bunch of prairie chicken, didn't she? Yes. And then, as far as the two pups, we got Miley and Breeze. And Miley actually ran really huge. And um, we lost her for a while. Which, um, is unfortunate but not a big deal we're, we're still happy with her performance even though um, they didn't find birds but they did a really good job and breeze had a couple big moves every now and then um she needs to work on getting out on her own a little bit more but like i said they're pups so looks like miley got into a cactus or a fence or something she got a little cut but that's okay they get a little cut up sometimes because they work so hard don't you don't you? What? What, monkey? Are you a monkey? Are you a monkey? Huh? Are you a monkey? Hey guys, quick update for you. We have been butchering a cow and I'm not gonna show that on camera because uh, YouTube probably won't like that too much. But um, we're getting ready to uh, package up a lot of the meat. So yeah, we ran it through the grinder and now we're uh, packaging it up. We'll be doing some more dog work tomorrow morning, so stay tuned. Waking up really early, so hopefully we can find them. Whoa, whoa. 
It's a giant. Chasing a prairie chicken. Shandy. There's nothing there that. That's okay. Let her figure that out. Okay. She's learning that there's birds here. She, she, uh. Did the, she point them? The bird kind of flew over. Yeah, but she did Miley point them. No, she bumped it right here. And it flew that way. It flew off and kind of circled back towards the trailer. We just bumped one and it went back towards the trailer. You guys did? The, the young dog did. 
She's pr pretty proud of herself right now. And Shandy's just working that scent out. And I don't have my gun, but that's okay. Whoop. You want me to fire? Sure. Whoop. No! Here! Here! Whoop! Candy, alright! Whoop! 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 She whistled her right into it, didn't she? Good job! She did! Whoop. Say she looked more confident that time. Yeah, but she went up more one side. Well, she's also yeah. kind of bad at that. What's that? She's kind of bad at that. What? Just moving some. Well, she got. She needs the confidence. The bird. The bird finds. I know. You know the fact that she's up when her birds are there. Usually she points and then she just feels pressure and lets down. So I'm not. She's not our world beater, she's our meat dog, and it's a good thing to have her find in some birds. You guys are booking. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? What's she doing? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 
There it is. I think it was probably pointing that way. I think you're probably right. What do you think, Rick? Alright. Good boy, Doc. You had a fine buddy. Well, you're at a trial with wild birds. One oh. gets up oh. 10 yards away, 100 yards away. You claim it and fire your gun and take your dog off. Alright, buddy. You don't worry about that, whether that was the bird your dog was pointing at. Okay. All right, buddy. Come on, duck. He's like, I don't want to move. There might be more. Oh, 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 here. Oh, here. Oh, That's where that bird was. Your dog pointed on it. I'm going to take a photo real quick. Whoa. Which way did he go? Ooh, water. I wonder where Duck is. Anybody see my dog? Huh? He's surely running on the hilltop. Look at duck. That was nice of you to lift the gate for the Well, I thought she was going to run through it. I, yeah, I think you're right. I appreciate you lifting it up. Here, <laughs> I think she was about to. That's going to do it for today's video. I know it wasn't the greatest bird work in the world, but that's the point of summer camp is to get your young dogs experience and on birds and see what it's like to uh, find wild birds. So we had a couple older dogs that um, are also a little bit inexperienced. We were trying to get them some experience and to uh, stay still and build some confidence. So we did a lot of things off camera there. Uh, part of the stipulation is to, uh, do chores around the ranch and uh, like I mentioned we ended up butchering a cow which was actually kind of fun but a lot of work and I mean a lot of work but it was pretty fun I also got to go fishing I'm gonna have a link to that video in the description below so go check that out that pond was stacked to the brim with largemouth bass so it was a pretty fun fishing trip if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep hunting. I'll catch you guys later.